is not limited to Iran. In Saudi Arabia, there are now more than 100,000 followers of Jesus Christ. In Pakistan, there are now more than two and a half million Christians. In Egypt, there are also more than two and a half million Christians. In Sudan, there are actually now more than five million followers of Christ. Radio and satellite television broadcasting is one of the ways the gospel message is being heard in countries whose governments or Islamic authorities fiercely oppose the communication of the Christian message. Rosenberg calls this the air war. When it comes to the air war, the leading revivalist revolutionary is an Egyptian Coptic priest by the name of Father Zechariah Botros. It is time for the church to stand up with courage and conviction and say that the power of the Holy Spirit, Islam is not the answer. Jihad is not the way. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. And no man or, or woman can come to the Father except through faith in Jesus Christ. This is the message of John 14, 6. This is the message of the entire New Testament. He is now being watched by 50 million Muslims a day throughout the Middle East. Now he's got this 90-minute program where he uh, not only explains uh, Christian truths, uh, but he also deconstructs uh, the person of Muhammad as well as the teachings of the Quran and some extra uh, Islamic teachings known as the Hadith. And he explains from his perspective why they're wrong and why Jesus is right. Now is not the time to hide from the Muslim world. Now is the time to take the gospel of Jesus Christ to every man, woman, and child on the planet, to every Jew and every Gentile, and proclaim him as the hope of mankind, the only hope for the troubled world. I have been doing this for most of my life, sharing the good news for salvation through Jesus Christ with the people of the Middle East. For this, I was exiled from my home country of Egypt. For this, I have been named Islam's public enemy number one. For this, there is now a price on my head, but I love Jesus more than my life. And because Jesus loves Muslims, because he came and laid down his life to save them, I love them too. And I am willing to lay my life down if necessary to reach them for my beloved Jesus. Nobody else talks like this uh, in Saudi Arabia, in Iran in Egypt, in Morocco. So people tune in uh, because they can't believe what he's going to say next. Uh, but the radicals tune in and they are absolutely infuriated. And they, once a week, Father Zechariah takes live call-ins and he'll get people, uh, you know, Muslim clerics calling in and screaming at him, telling, them, telling him why he's an evil man and why he's wrong. But he challenges them point by point, uh, verse by verse, from the Quran, as well as from the Bible. The God of the Bible is moving powerfully in the Muslim world today. He is drawing Muslims out of Islam, of faith to faith in Jesus Christ in record numbers. Yes, there is much bad news in the Muslim world today. But there is also much more good news for Muslims. More Muslims have come to faith in Jesus Christ in the last three decades that in the last 14 centuries of Islam put together. This is the greatness of our great God. Father Zechariah's ministry is seeing so many Muslims calling and emailing and writing into their ministry saying they become followers of Christ that Al-Qaeda 
has actually put Father Zechariah's photo on one of their websites as one of the most wanted men in the world. And at this point, we believe that there is now a $60 million bounty on Father Zechariah's head from those radical Islamic jihadists. Now, just to put that into perspective, the United States has put a $25 million bounty on the head of Osama bin Laden. So you can see how much the radicals want this guy silenced, and yet he has become the phenomenon in satellite television throughout the Muslim world.